everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm doing an updated video on what supplements we are currently taking. has been requested and thank you always for your video requests. If you have ideas for what you'd like me to make videos on, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I always love knowing what you guys want to see. I did a video about a year, I think, ago about what supplements we were taking at that time and this changes just based on our needs, what kind of seasons of life I'm in, you know, I did a pregnancy supplement video more recently, and then of course, since I'm not pregnant now, I have changed a little bit about what I take. So I'm gonna do an updated supplement video. It's gonna cover what I'm taking, what my husband is taking, and then what my kids are taking as well. Let's first jump in with what I'm taking. There's gonna be a lot of overlap here, but I'll just kind of go through in categories. All right, so on a daily basis, my main staples that I take as far as supplements are cod liver oil. I like to take this Green Pastures Fermented Cod Liver Oil. In my research, the Green Pastures Fermented Cod Liver Oil and Rosita Cod Liver Oil are the best because they've not been processed in any way. Processing like winterization to keep the oil liquid at colder temperatures, for example, and other different processes that can be done to cod liver oil tend to destroy nutrients. So I looked for the most pure cod liver oil I could find that had not been processed in any way. So those are the, my two favorite kinds. I personally usually take the fermented cod liver oil. Sometimes I will take the Rosita if I'm out of this one, but generally I go to this one. If you're looking for cod liver oil basics and recommendations about good brands to choose and then what amounts are good for people at different ages and different stages of life, the Weston A. Price Foundation has a really great article that covers all that in great detail. I'll link that below in case you're interested in checking that out. The other things that I take on a daily basis are iodine along with selenium and I also use this in water with some Celtic sea salt and you do have to consult with a practitioner before you start taking iodine internally. So I consulted with Dr. Becky Plotner and she helped me figure out the right dosage for me right now. And so I take that iodine, the 2% along with selenium and like I said, the Celtic sea salt in water. So I'll take that every day. Dr. Becky Plotner also recommended a uh, desiccated, it's a very low dose desiccated thyroid for me. So I have been taking that on a daily basis as well. And then homeopathic cell salts. I have this combination of 12 called Bioplasma. And I take this at least once a day. If I can remember to work it in, I'll take it up to like three times a day, but at least once. And that's really great. Another thing that I like are these Urban Moonshine Healthy Liver Bitters. And I will take a couple dropperfuls of these in the morning when I'm drinking my beet kvass. So I really like those. And then let's talk about things that I take before meals. So the Urban Moonshine Company also has this original digestive bitters. They had another one called Calm Tummy Bitters that I took while I was pregnant. And then this one I like when I'm not pregnant. It's just a little bit more powerful. But this has a blend of herbs that are really helpful for stimulating liver and gallbladder function. Helps produce a lot of stomach acid, which is really good for digesting your food well. And I just really like them for all that. So I take a dropper full before each meal. Another thing that I've been doing before each meal is taking a teaspoon of this Ion Gut Support. This is supposed to be really helpful for getting rid of um, pesticides, like especially glyphosate in the body. So it's a really good way to counteract the effects of having that in so much of our food, even organic food these days. It's such a sad situation, but this was something I learned about that can be really helpful for just helping your body get rid of it so that it doesn't harm you. So I take a teaspoon of that before each meal, about half an hour before each meal, or you know, I don't always remember it at the perfect time, but at least before the meal. I'll take that. Um, and then some things I take kind of on an occasional basis. Again, this is helpful, not so much for heavy metal detox or anything like that. It's more helpful for dealing with pesticides. Again, it's another really great thing to have to combat just how many pesticides are in our food these days. 
So this is the Advanced TRS Zeolite Spray. So I did take this every day for a while and then as a maintenance, I'll just take it about once a week. And then I have these um, beef liver capsules that I keep on hand. Most of the time I don't take these. If I'm traveling or something, I'll bring them along and take them. But on a regular basis, just normal daily life, I will work in eating organ meats at least once a week, usually more often than that. And then also I'll swallow raw liver. I'm to the point where I don't need to swallow the raw liver every single day now, but I will include those organ meats either cooked or raw on a very regular basis. Like I said, at least once a week, more like two or three times a week usually. And then another thing that I'll take on an occasional basis, just if I feel like I need magnesium, is this uh, magnesium glycinate. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> from Pure Encapsulations. So that's a, a really good magnesium brand that I found. So once in a while, if I feel like I need it, I'll take that. So those are like more occasional. And then here's what I'm doing on a daily basis. My husband is doing a lot of the same things. He's doing a heavy metal chelation protocol still from Dr. Becky Plotner, just kind of finishing that up. He will probably be done with that pretty soon. And then he also takes when when he remembers he takes the digestive bitters and then he takes the cod liver oil the fermented cod liver oil on a daily basis he also takes fish oil there's nordic naturals ultimate omega fish oil on a daily basis and then he also does flower essences so bach flower remedies if you're familiar with those he has a blend of a few that are helpful for him for certain things so then he takes those and then this kind of overlaps, I feel like, in the categories of supplement and food, but we try to include lots and lots of healthy fat in our diet. And so one of the things that he'll do if he's not already getting a bunch of coconut oil another way is just take a big spoonful of coconut oil every day too, just to help boost that fat. We'll do the same thing with either butter or lard. We'll just have a spoonful of butter if we feel like we need to boost that fat level or more often we'll include it, work it into our meals. It's more tasty that way. <laughs> So like drizzling lard over something or making sure that we include a lot of it when we're making our food. But I feel like that was worth mentioning, just those animal fats and then coconut oil too. Now let's talk about what my kids are taking. So my kids, two of them finished up a heavy metal chelation protocol from Dr. Becky Plotner. So they're done with that now. I kind of have them at first, like I did take the TRS every day for a while and then work down to a maintenance dose. So once a week they get sprays of this depending on their amount for their body and then also they're doing the ion gut support before each meal when they feel like it they don't do this every single meal but when they feel like it sometimes they will ask for these herbal digestive bitters from urban moonshine and so they'll do those occasionally i do try to give them the cell salts in the morning when i remember i we don't always keep up with this every single day but I try to include it as often as I remember and then every single day without fail they are getting cod liver oil they tend to like the rosita cod liver oil the best but they will take the green pastures fermented sometimes just kind of depending what what we have on hand usually we keep both of these on hand but sometimes we have one and not the other so that's kind of how we switch back and forth from them but most of the time they like taking the Rosita cod liver oil. And then some of them, not all of them, depending on who seems like they need it, will take the Ultimate Omega from Nord Nordic Naturals as well. Again, just dosing depending on their size and what they need. And then the last thing that they take are occasionally as they feel like they need it or seem like they need it, we'll do the Bach flower essences as well. And they have their own personal little blends that I've created for them based on the individual blends and what they need, um, just from doing research and knowing them and, and their needs. And then also I forgot to mention that I will sometimes take these Bach flower remedies too. I have my own personal blend that I made and that's super helpful for a lot of things too. And then as far as organ meats for my kids, they actually do really love these beef liver capsules. They'll ask for them and crunch them up. And so once in a while they'll do that, but just because they ask for them. Most of the time they're eating the organ meats just when I serve them. They will also swallow raw liver just fine too. They actually really enjoy it. So. That's how they get in their organ meats. Okay, so that covers what we are taking for supplements right now. Hope that you found that interesting and helpful. I will link as many of these things as I can down below in the description box so that if you are looking for any of these, you can find them easily. And also remember that this is just what we are doing after we've consulted with a practitioner and done our own research and 
all that. Make sure that before you start anything, you always check with your doctor. I am not a medical doctor and I am not able to prescribe supplements for anyone, but I do encourage you to do your own research. Ask your licensed medical professionals what's best for you. And I hope that you found that interesting and helpful just to kind of see what we are doing. If you have any questions about any of this, be sure and leave me a comment down below. Like I said, check out that description box for links to as many of these as I can find to put links down there for you, as well as links to other things that we really like and free eBooks and other goodies. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would find it interesting or helpful. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.